Hey guys, welcome to another video with me, Claris. In this video, I am going to be testing out, or trying out rather, um, these three new items that I just acquired in my collection. So the first thing is colors, and these are the 48 set, studio set, um, of the Dollar Roni, Roni, is that how you pronounce it? That's what it looks like inside. It's got a very impressive looking number four brush and so many different colors. So it makes it easier on our lives if we don't want to do a whole bunch of mixing. I also love this palette feature over here. Also one more thing, you can take this out and voila, you can get another palette. Same thing with the second panel over here. So putting that aside, and this is the Kansen watercolor paper, I believe. It's cold press, heavyweight paper. What else can I tell you? 9 by 12 inches. I think it is the same as what I used to previously use. I could be wrong because the packaging seems different unless they've just rebranded. And then last but not least, I got this gorgeous set of four. Uh, Princeton Velvet Touch Brushes. We've got a number eight. We've got a number four. Look at these points. Are you looking at these points? My gosh, right? Uh, we've got a nice wash. And then we've got an angular brush as well. Okay, so my water's ready on the side. And just for this exercise, this is not going to be much of a tutorial. This will be more of a watch me paint, guys. Okay, I'm not painting all of this, but I'll just take inspiration because I love the colors happening over here. So I'm just going to pick and choose, and this way maybe you'll get a fair enough sampling of the colors that we have here. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be swatching. This is not a swatching video. And if you're, if you're curious as to which book this is, this is the Flower Color Theory book. It is, I think, the sister book to the Flower Color Guide book that um, I have been doing the watercolor videos, floral videos from the series. So there you go. Okay, and this is on page 190. I know some of y'all went out and got this book as well. So if you feel inspired by what I end up with on here, then feel free to paint as well. So here we go. Let's test out this Canson Dalaroni and Princeton, Nep uh, I was going to say Neptune, Princeton Velvet all right, so because I've previously not used these um, brushes, sorry, these colors, I might have to do a little bit of swatching before I use a color, I'm not quite sure. But also to get a fair sampling or trial of all these brushes, I think it's it just makes sense for me to go ahead and use this to create a little bit of a background so yeah and then this way actually you know what I just realized there's two metallics in here I'll keep the metallics for the last bit in case we need to use any um, but yeah let's do this so there's my water in case you're wondering and let's get to using like a nice light blue perhaps for colors and I just realized on the cover they've got a whole selection or they're kind of letting you know what colors are where so if I wanted to do like a little bit of a cerulean or a cobalt violet hue I think that's pretty a cobalt violet hue maybe I'll try something like that and uh, yeah great great array of different violets actually no i'm lying i'm gonna go for the peach pink i think that'll be a cute background and that is right here let's activate that and what i think should have happened was i should have done a nice lay of water on my sheet before doing the peach so i'm going to cheat a little bit I'm going to get my mop and dampen this area very, very roughly. And let's get a nice peach in here. And let's see what happens. Okay. All right. Here we go. Some peach. 
beautiful. I love how that kind of just seeps in. Very, very impressed already. I'm gonna get more of that peach. And what I'm going to do is just overlay some other, some areas at the top. get a nice little mishmash of different hues of this beautiful peach coral that we have. And then you know what? Just to make things interesting, I think I will throw in just a hint of another color in here. Um, I don't know, maybe like a, maybe the vermilion? No, you know, Naples yellow, if I can find it on here. I'm gonna try that. I think this is it. I could be wrong. Although there's gonna be a lot of yellow, so on second thought, probably should have done a tad bit of like a pink or something like that, but it's okay. We're experimenting and we are Going with the flow. Let's see where this goes. I'm just gonna fade this off. And then we allow this to dry and then let's try some flowers on top of this. All right, so we're starting off with using some of this beautiful ultramarine pink. And I'm using my number eight. And let's just see what happens. And I will use the number four to smoothen out if I need any smoothening out. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna start a flower right here on this side. And we're making this like a dahlia, multi-layered sort of flower. It's a nice, pretty color. And just dipping to make sure that it's nice and dark in the center. And then I'm just gonna extend and go outward and create more petals. And at this point, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that different hue, a purple, uh, what's it called? Purple Lake. Probably should add some in the center too because it's a nice dark, darker hue. So just creating these petals on the outside, leaving a lot of white space. And then I'm just kind of adding loose strokes on the outfit. Just to sort of fade it out. So I didn't quite need the number four. What I what I would do is go back in the center and add a darker, add the darker color so it can pop some more. And so watch me do that right now. I'm just gonna underline some of these petals here just to give it a little bit of a shadowy effect really makes that pop just a bit. Perfect. We'll allow this to dry a little bit. Let's go in and take a nice sort of uh, orange and I'm gonna take the cadmium red hue or vermilion hue actually. That looks really good. And that is right one, two, yeah, this one right here. That's the orange, yeah, this one right here. Because they're not named, so I literally have to count. Let's see where this is. Okay, so we're starting off with the centers using this color. So I'm just gonna do another one here, similar fashion. 
This is me using the number four. And what I'm going to do is dip the tip of my brush in water and I'm just going to lightly add loose strokes here. And then we're going in with a lemon. So the lemon I'm going to use is going to be a nice Indian yellow hue. That's what it's called. And I'm going to add a couple of strokes on the inside here while this is damp, allowing the color to sort of mix in nicely, give us that nice blend. And then I'm doing our little strokes on the outside, just like we did for the previous flower. Very, very loose, very, um, I'm not focusing on the, on the shape of my strokes as much. I'm trying to be very organic, trying to draw the darker orange into this mango sort of orange and get a nice blend. I'm just adding some random dots over there because I saw that nice area. It was damp. I wanted there to be a little bit of a blend. Perfect. Okay, so this is great. I'm going to go ahead back with this brush and I want to get some of that in there, firstly. And then secondly, some over here and there. And then I want to get a nice darker brown to just add in the center. But I'm thinking I'll probably hold off, wait for it to dry a bit more before we do that. Let's go on and do some loose little background flowers. And let's just see what that looks like. I'm not going to make this video super, super long. I just want to do a little bit of testing using all of this, give you guys a good enough idea of uh, what you can achieve and then we go from there. I am loving the points so far. I have to say, very impressed because um, I don't think any of my brushes quite are that pointy. Let's try this brush. This might not quite be the ideal brush for the Philo florals, but let's just try it out. Uh, for these flowers, let's use, because we're doing orange, we're doing purple, let's do a little bit of pink. And for the pink, I have got this tone right here. And it is called Permanent Rose, I believe. Love the name already. Okay, and we're just going to do really loose shapes, kind of like, just like that. And then dipping the tip of my brush in water, I'm going to go ahead and create more. I'm kind of touching some of this purple on purpose because I want to get some nice blends and bleeds. And I'll do a little bit of that down over here on this end too. This is pretty much dried up but I'm still going to go ahead and add some of this here. Perfect. And now I'm going to throw in another dark hue just to sort of make it pop some more. So I'm going to use the, we've got that. Uh, I think it's called Al Al Alizarian Crimson Hue. And that is right here. Uh, this might not be the one we're looking for in terms of ideal. Let's just see how it goes. Let's see how it blends in. Is it giving us a pretty blend? I think so. Beautiful. Love it. I'm going to add some of that over here. These colors are very pretty and I love the fact that there's all these choices for pinks and mauves and purples because you guys know I love my pinks and mauves and purples. So this is really, really nice 
for me. I'm just going to do a splatter. Love it. Okay, uh, I want to use more of that color, so I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to go back to the velvet touch number four, and I'm going to get some green now. What green? Okay, olive green. Right away, I see olive green, uh, and it is right here. We're going to use olive green because you guys know, again, I love olive green. Okay, we're just going to connect this. I'm using just the tip of this brush. It's holding quite a bit of water. You can see it's quite thick over here, but that's okay. I'm just going to still wing it and try and see what thins I get. Beautiful. I am loving this. Look at that blend into the pink. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. Adding my leaves in. And then I'm just going to do a little bit over here. Again, notice how I am not, in like I'm very intentionally being extremely loose with, with how I am painting these leaves. Gorgeous. Okay, so I like to fluff a little bit too, and since I've got color on here already, I'm just going to do a little bit of fluffing here and there. Love fluffing. Okay, fluffing for those who are new to my channel uh, or watching this for the first time is pretty much a term I have coined for when you're done putting in all your main elements and you just want to go in with a lighter color and just add additional gradients or not gradients but like it serves as a gradient and gives you a great um, front and uh, gives you a great perspective in terms of what's what's in focus and what is not and in the background and also adds some great volume to your um, to your art. I'm just going to do something like that, get some nice loosey curly elements happening. I love my curls. I have curly hair but I also love having the curl element in my work as well. This is also where I should add in probably another green just to sort of give it a nice oomph. And I think it would be nice to use a... They've got transparent turquoise, they've got hookers green dark. I'm not sure I would like this, so I'm not going to use it actually. So I will use the raw umber. And raw umber is... Where is it? I got to count, guys. Okay, so it's a yellow, then, okay, I think this is it. If it isn't, we're just, we're going to run with it still. It's a little bit of a brownish sort of hue. That's fine. We're just doing a little bit of darker detailing. Not bad. I like it. Yeah, I think we I think we got an umber. I think we I think so. I think so. Alright, so this is it. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a time lapse and so you guys can see what that looks like. 
but uh, I'm gonna leave this actually not yet sorry I need to do one more thing I want to add more detail within these flowers and then we can retire I think this is enough of detailing for you guys um, yeah so while I like the colors and stuff I do find it a little bit tedious to look at this and then kind of count to find which color is which but I think I think you can figure if you're creative enough I think you can figure out a way around that so I, I still don't think it's a deal breaker in terms of considering these just because the palette is so pretty and uh, yeah okay so let's get a permanent mauve and for that I believe it is I think it is this one right here okay this is more like the violet which you guys know I don't like but we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit of that and get a little bit of this color here and mix it in and try that over here so I just want to give it darker detailing on the insides Just adding another hue to our to our flower to enhance some depth and such. Not bad. And then for this one, whoops, got it a little bit damp. I'm going to do a brown or like a English red almost. Um, rose matter hue seems to be good, but I think I think it's this one right here. Let's see. I'm actually not sure if that's it. This looks very, very red to me, but it might work. We're going to try it out and see. bad I kind of really like it I'm digging this guys okay all right I can work with this not bad at all okay I'm not gonna do anything else but you guys get the idea gone in with a couple of different colors tried a couple of things out and I'm gonna keep the colors right here and let's just look at our handiwork that's what I was looking at for inspiration. This is what I came up with. So I was looking mainly at these two and then these guys, but then it became more like these guys over here. And I didn't do yellow. So look at that. Sometimes you sit down to paint and you kind of get into the zone and you end up going with the groove and this is what happens. All right, so that in a nutshell is my trial testing video on the new items that I just got. Dalaroni colors, set of 48, the Canson watercolor paper, and then the Princeton velvet touch brushes. I just realized I did not use the angular brush. I should use the angular brush, but I'm going to add another video to this on the YouTube channel. So feel free to hop on over there, guys. I've listed all my social media down below. Check it out on there. And then let me know what you guys think. Um, do you have, do you use these already? Do you like them? I'm very impressed. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed.